Tuscany in a small hill town called Cortona. In this video, I'm going to walk you around and show you some things that you should see, places you can eat, and also share some of the information and important history of this beautiful area. So let's get started. Cortona is a town in the province of Arezzo and is in southern Tuscany. It is the main cultural and artistic center of the area after Arezzo. Cortona has a history that goes back 2,500 years to Etruscan times. The walls and gates of Cortona are the first thing you see when you visit this town. The old town is surrounded by massive Etruscan walls dating all the way back to the 4th century BC, and parts of the Etruscan city wall can still be seen today. Here in Piazza Garibaldi, you are greeted with this breathtaking panoramic viewpoint. This terrace was made at the time of Napoleon. Cortona was originally an Umbrian city, but was conquered and enlarged by the Etruscans. The view of the lake all the way over there, Lake Trasimeno, is where Hannibal ambushed the Roman army in 217 BC. The lake and the hills show the border of Umbria and the Holy Roman Empire. The Umbrians were under the rule of the Pope until the 1800s, and much of Italy was like this. Many different rulers, different cultures, and that is why they say there are many Italys. This memorial bust of Giuseppe Garibaldi, the man who fought for Italian unification, is looking out at the same view from centuries before, and it's a reminder of the challenges of uniting the many cultures of this peninsula back in the 1860s. Now we are going to walk down Via Nazionale, that's the proper name for the street. It was named that back in the 19th century because they wanted to celebrate Italian unity, but the locals here call it Ruga Piana, and that means flat wrinkle, and it's basically because it's the only flat street in the whole town of Cortona. The other day, my mom and I climbed to the top of Cortona, and we can definitely verify that it's extremely hilly here. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here in the first piazza you'll come up to through Via Nazionale. This is Piazza della Repubblica. And here is the old city hall building. And I wanted to take you right around the corner to the next piazza called Piazza Signorelli. So let's walk there together. A little dog.
bambino di cioccolato sopra sì, wow Oh. <ride> ok, per me è una cosetta Limone e frutti di bosco Cioccolato? No, grazie Piazza Signorelli you have the Etruscan Museum right there and it displays artifacts from Etruscan times Roman times Egyptian civilization as well as artifacts from the medieval and Renaissance times okay hopefully you can hear me better so Cortona really started to grow between the 13th and 15th centuries and that was around the time that it really became a colorful and crowded city. Eventually it was conquered by Florence and its captains would rule the city from right here in Palazzo Casali. About every six months or so they would have a new ruler come in and whenever that would happen they would establish their rule by putting their family's coat of arms up here on the wall. These date from the 1600s and they are made of sandstone. They used to be really colorfully painted but over time, they've suffered from erosion. Today, Cortona is very popular with American tourists because of the film Under the Tuscan Sun. Dear Mom, it's market day in Cortona. The piazza is an ongoing party and everyone is invited. A lot of people actually try to find the villa from the film called Brahma Sole and it is on the outskirts of the city and they did actually film parts of that movie here in Cortona. And I actually just found out that Cortona used to be a location featured in the Grand Tour. So this town and area has actually been popular with foreigners for about 200 years. beginning of June and most days it's been extremely hot but today it's actually cooled off a little bit but if you're in the mood for gelato come right here to Piazza Signorelli and go to Gelateria Snoopy it's really good and the guy that works there is very nice if you want some more food recommendations, I will write them in the description box down below. When you come to Cortona for the day, be sure to wear very comfortable walking shoes because it is a very hilly little town. And Mom and I can attest to the fact that it's extremely hilly because our first day here, we wanted to go visit a church that's on the top of the hill that Cortona is on. And uh, we didn't realize it was quite, quite the hike to get up there and um, I'll show you some of the clips of that church right now.
new here hello my name is Alyssa and I'm an American photographer I live in Rome Italy and I like to post vlogs and videos about my life in Rome this summer I'm exploring other parts of Italy and other parts of Europe so be sure and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos So to get here you can rent a car and you can park it just outside the old town center. You're not allowed to drive within the historic center and you'll find that that's pretty common everywhere throughout Italy. You can also arrive by train and the stop you're going to get off at is called Camucia Cortona. Locals pronounce that Camuccia so you might hear it pronounced that way. From the train station you can either take a bus that actually looks more like a van and come up here to Piazza Garibaldi. You can also take a taxi and there are plenty of people cycling or hiking so you have your pick with a few different options on how to get here. video on Cortona you guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video ciao friends Today.